Multilingual audio and video automatic transcription is now available in the script. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. If you've been on the sidelines hoping and praying that this script will include multilingual support, it has arrived and it is packed with over 20 languages. So uh, basically, let's just break it down. A quick breakdown. How do you do it? Just go to the normal process of normal. Just create a new project and then just call it multilingual. Multilingual, just that's okay. We can just change this to avoid that. Create a project. And then uh, what you do in the script when you want to automatically transcribe an audio file, you can either drag it to the composition here. This uh, section is called a composition. Or you can just come to the project files and drop your files here to retranscribe later. So. This is a file I have, and I can just drag and drop it here to the project files or to the uh, composition. Let's just drag and drop it to the composition. And once I do that, what happens is that you'll be prompted in this new version to set the transcription language. This now this was not available uh, initially, or you used to default to English. So the languages are available: English, Catalan, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French. German, Hungarian, uh, and so on and so forth, Italian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Malay, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Slovak, Slovenia, Spanish, Swedish, Turkish. So uh, a ton of languages in there. So and I believe uh, some of, uh, some of uh, the commonly used languages have been covered. I believe the Hindi language is still in beta. So if you want to be a better tester of how it works, you can check out uh, the links in the description below to download the beta version or the beta version of the script, whatever you want to pronounce it as. So set your language. This audio file I just dropped inside here is in English. If your audio or video is in another language, then you can select that. And then uh, by default, whatever you set here is what uh, will be used. But then there's this option to always prompt for transcription language. Set this or check this if you, you transcribe multiple languages. It's going to help you if you're a journalist or do interviews in different languages, then this is going to help you a lot. So click on transcribe and it's going to initialize. Your transcript will be ready in a few minutes. You can uh, change the language, whatnot. Enter the speaker name. Uh, let's just call this speaker David because it's me. Okay, just enter David and then click on that and then click on done, it's transcribing, it's at 50%. Now, if you wanted to change the language being transcribed, you can come to File, Preferences, and this is on Windows, I think on Mac it might be Edit Preferences, but go to File, Preferences, and then you scroll down slightly, and then the transcription language. Use this language for new transcription requests. So. If you wanted to change permanently the language being set up, you can do that. And then if you don't want to be prompted every other time to choose a language, then you can uncheck this or check this. I will leave it as checked because I might need to use this for other languages. So our transcript is done. So you can just click here. Uh, and if you can just do a listen. In this video, I'll show you how to batch or bulk convert SRT subtitles to VTT. So it's done a good job just by listening to that. Uh, it's just probably my accent here. We can just correct that with E. This is bulk. Correct. It's bulk convert etc. So it's done a good job because this is an English file. But you need to test it out if you speak in a different language. If they had Swahili, I would test it out. But hopefully someday they'll add Swahili or Kiswahili language in the multilingual transcription set. Now, a couple of uh, things you need to note is that the multilingual transcription is available for screen recordings. It's available for all these uh, things that you put inside here uh, and also uh, the studio sound. It is not available uh, or does not do a good job for filler, word detection, overdub, uh, and I believe it is not yet supported in the white glove transcription service that is offered by the script. Now, a couple of uh, things I think probably they need to do with this and probably they're in the pipeline is that once you are done automatically transcribing your file, 
it would be awesome if you'd be able to automatically translate it to a different language that would be really awesome uh, so that you don't need uh, let's say you wanted to bulk or batch produce subtitles in different languages all you need to do is just convert uh, your transcript into uh, the languages that you want to actually export and then use them for YouTube or whatever platform that it is intended to do. Now, another downside is that if you're doing automatic transcription of your file and the languages are different, then uh, let's say you're asking uh, the question in English, then probably somebody's translating for that person and they answer back in a supported language uh, Descript doesn't support that at the moment. So that's a downside, uh, but you can create different uh, compositions uh, for different sections. You just copy that, clip to composition, just uh, do that, and then later on just copy and paste all those things into one. And if by mistake uh, you uh, did not transcribe uh, the correct language, then you can, go, you can come back to uh, the project click on the project files and then just uh, click here and then you'll need to transcribe file and if you click on this please remember you'll be charged a couple of minutes based on the length of your file if you click on that retranscribe file you'll need to set the language and then set the correct language and then transcribe like we did so that's it from me it is just a quick introduction into the multilingual automatic transcription support that is available now on Descript. Over 20 plus languages are available. Test it out. Check the link in the description. And I hope that somebody that has been waiting for Descript to add multilingual support is happy with this update. Just test it out and let the team at Descript know how this feature works and if the results are what you expect. Thanks for watching. My name is David. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.